Ciao, ciao, sveiki! Ciao, ciao, sveiki! Today we are continuing learning Latvian language and let's learn about the days or dienas, mēneši, months and datumi and dates. Chetan, how do you like the summer season in Latvia? Oh, summer season is really good in Latvia. Yes. I really like it. I loved it. But your favorite season is... And uh, my, But my favorite season is winter season. Winter because season. Because in summer, lots of sweat and a very, you know, um, UV rays from sun. Oh, <laughs> you're going to get some damaged skin and have some wrinkles. <laughs> yes. Wow, that's a big problem. Yeah, yes. well, I'm already tanned. I don't want to be tanned more. Okay. Well, for me, it's opposite. I love summer because mm -hmm. in summer we can go to the beach, swim and get some tan. So let's learn about those months, dates and days. So the in Latvia, we have four seasons. Latvia ir četri gadalaiki. Please read it. Latvia ir četri gadalaiki. Yeah, so seasons are gadalaiki. So the first one is Chetan's favorite one. It is Ziema. Ziema ir augsti. Ziema ir augsti. Ziema ir augsti. Ziema ir augsti. So Ziema means winter. Ziema, everything what ends with A, E, E, with a long vowel, means inside. Yes, so Ziema in the winter is cold. Augst, it is cold. Yeah. It means winter is cold. Yeah, in the winter. In the winter, it's it cold. is cold. Yes. The next one is. Pavasaris. Yes, spring. Spring. Pavasari ir skaisti. Pavasari ir skaisti. Skaisti it is. I think beautiful. Yes, exactly. And when we have amazing picture. Well, we don't have those mountains which is on the background, but we have the flowers and the visual effects, yes, really similar you can see in Riga and also in the countryside. So Pavasaris, it means spring. Pavasari ir skaisti means spring. In the spring, it is beautiful. I think uh, in Latvia, you can see only hills, not mountains. Yes. Yes. Actually, I don't remember what's the tallest hill, but it's like 800 meters. I don't know. No, maybe I'm exaggerating. Actually, I don't know myself too. Yeah. Need to look on Google, yeah? So the next season is Vasara. Yes, Vasara means summer. Vasara ir karsti. Vasara ir karsti. It's in summer, yes. In the summer, in the summer is it's hot. hot. Yes. And the one which is Rudens, actually it is my favorite one because in autumn it's really beautiful in Latvia because it's quite green, the trees are changing leaves and if you travel to some cities you can see the view from the top and the scenery is amazing. Everything the is so colorful. The only thing I like in Rudens is like in autumn, it's yeah. like colorful uh, trees, leaves. Yes, yes. Only yes. that I like, I don't like rain. Seriously. Yeah, because like, we have like rainy seasons. Yes. I think it's quite similar to monsoon, right? Ah, uh, yes. It's yes. the same as monsoon. Mm -hmm. Rudens and Rudeni ir slapi. Rudeni ir slapi. Slapi. And slapi means wet or humid, depending how you're going to use this uh, word. Here you can say wet, yeah? In the autumn, it is wet. And right now, kasertagat, what we have now? I think we have uh, right now summer vasara. Yeah, tagad ir. Tagad ir vasara. Tagad ir vasara, yeah. And in the year we have 12 months. Tagada ir 12 mēneši. Tagad mēs mācīsimies mēnešus ar kārti skaitļiem kopā. Right now we will learn months with ordinal numbers together. So here I have written and divided the months, the names of the months in the blue color and the ordinal numbers in the gray. Yes. Um, so you can read first sentence. Janvaris mm -hmm. ir 
pirmais mēnesis. And in Latvian language, uh, like first, second, if you want to write like they do in English, like one and sc, we don't have this sc or second, like two and nd, we would have just the number and the dot. So this means by default, this is first or second or third. And you can see that on the slide too. So uh, pirmais janvaris ir pirmais mēnesis means January is the first month. Yeah, pirmais, it is first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think in Latvian is also when you we write in Latvian, like we write mo uh, month name, you know? Yeah. So it starts from small letters. Just like in English, if we start, it's from big letter. Ah, oh, yes, yes. You write March, unless the sentence begins from beginning, right? So obviously you will use the capital letter. But if you will have the name of the month in the sentence, in the middle, in the end somewhere, but not as a first uh, word, you will have it beginning with a small letter, not in English with a capital, yes. Mm -hmm. Like in this slide, for okay. example, yeah. So the second one is Februaris ir otrais mēnesis. Yes. Third one? Yes. Mārts ir trešais mēnesis. For aprilis. Aprilis. Aprilis mm -hmm. ir seturtais mēnesis. Fiftis mājas ir iektais mēnesis. Yes. Sixth. Junis. 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 Yes. Ir šestais. Sestais. Sestais. Sestais mēnesis. Mm -hmm. Seventh is jūlis. Ir septitais mēnesis. Mm -hmm. Eighth. Augusts. 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 It's like August. Ah, okay. Just if in English you say August, yeah, depending where in English country you are from, here you say Au. So the same Gusts uh -huh. is similar. August, okay. yeah, but okay. just Augusts. Mm -hmm. Augusts. 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 Ir astotais menesis. Yeah. Ninth September is. September is. September is ir devitais. Menesis mm -hmm. and October is er desmitais menesis. Eleventh November is er vien pasmitais menesis. Twelfth December is er div pasmitais menesis. December is. December is. December is. And kasser tagat, what is now? Now it's Julius. Uh, yeah, Julis. Julis. Julis ir septitais mēnesis, which is, we are in July right now, so it is the seventh month. Yes. Good. Yeah. Let's take the next slide. So here you have some words. Please read. God. Mm -hmm. Means ear? Yes. So this is a singular form. Okay. Gadi, ears. Mm -hmm. Means plural form. Yeah. yeah. Then manesis is month, maneshi is month. Mm -hmm. Then kartas kaitli is ordinal numbers. Yeah, so the ones that we just learned right now. Okay, let's take next slide. Nedele, week. Nedele, week. Nedelas, weeks. Yeah, so and endings, as you know, in Latvian language, it will depend on the noun. If the noun, it is a female, it will be like a and e, mm -hmm. mostly, could be also difference in singular form. And if the endings uh, are with us, it is because the female form is, it is, it is in plural, like here, yes, weeks, nedelas, week, one week, it is nedelia, yeah. Okay. Then Diana is day, Diana's is days. Yes, also this is a female sir, noun. So where is sir? Yeah? Yes, you can see a and us. Yes, mm -hmm. singular for female uh, form. The ending is a and for plural it is us. So mm -hmm. for this no noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here we have Gada ir pieces and divas nedelis. Gada ir. Yeah. Pieci desmit divas. divas 
medals. Yeah. And then I have written here uh, for you to see the difference between, for example, um, ordinal number endings in a female or a male form. Here, because nedelia, it means weak, it is in a female form. That's why before we had pirmais menaces, yes, yes pirmais, ice, because the month in Latvian, it is a male noun. Okay. But here we have pirma nedelia, yeah? Uh, First. It means pirmais is male, yes. ice yeah. is 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 male pirmais yeah mm -hmm. and a means female pirma yeah pirma. this is for ordinal numbers and because okay. we have weak nedela ah, okay. cast nedela yeah mm -hmm. please read pirma nedela mm -hmm. otra nedela tresha nedela setulta nedela piekta nedela sesta nedela septita nedela astuta nedela Devita nedela, desmita nedela, viens pas, uh, vien pasmita nedela, div pasmita nedela. And if you would want to say, let's say, 28 week, what would you say? 28 week. Uh, I think it's like, div desmit, astu ta nedela. Pareis, yeah. So if you already know the numbers uh, from the previous video before yeah you would just have to add to the ordinal numbers this one letter you can say you because uh dv okay the dv it is this is the otra okay let's say number three it was trees yeah here you have to change it a bit tresha the third one chetri or ceturta yeah so you need to change it and add the ending on piece or piekta yeah so here we have some difference and let's learn all the days of the week. So, Kasri Shodian. Kasri Shodian. Shodian is Saturdiana. Yeah, Shodian is Saturdiana. Today is Thursday. But because Nadele Sakas no Pimdinas, or the week uh, starts from Monday, here we have really easy version if you know how to count. From 1 to 6, you can already create and learn the days of the week. And how does it work? Pirma plus diena. Yeah? Pirm diena. Otra plus diena. Water diena. Yeah? Please continue. Tresha plus diena. Tresh diena. Seturta die plus diena. Setur diena. Piekta plus diena. Piek diena. Sesta plus diena. Ses diena. Septita plus diena. Sweet, you know. Yeah, because sweat means holy, like yes. when is something is holy. Yes. And that's why it's like a holy day, sweat, mm -hmm. you know, yeah? Septita, you know, yeah, it's not a, a, a septing, you know, but it's sweat, you know, yes. yes. So, pirm, you know, water, you know, trash, you know, cetur, you know, pek, you know, ses, you know, un, sweat, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, dienas, nedele, nedeles. Menaces, manishi, gods, and gadi. Here I have given examples of plural and singular versions. Okay. Congratulations, we have finished today's lesson. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and support us. Yes, paldies. Visu labu. Paldies, visu labu.